we cannot do that. Can we take Harbor out now? No. Brothers and sisters, don't stop the war. We don't just come here today and leave. You have to write your MPs. You have to send emails. Those people, they have to be brought to justice in the International Criminal Court. You have to write petitions. You have to do all what you can in order to bring these people to justice and to bring the democratically elected government back. Thank you very much. Jazakumullah kullu khair. We have, we have under the tent on my left, the tent, the small tent, the canopy on my left, we have letters for MPs, we have a list of all of the MPs so that you can find, you can find your own MP, we ask you to take the time to stop by the canopy, write a letter to your MP, fill in the information for your MP, sign it and send it. We need to put pressure on this coup. We need to put pressure to stop the violence, to stop the bloodshed, to restore the democratic elected government, and to start a process of dialogue in Egypt. Well, Haddara is going to speak next. Assalamu alaikum wa Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Wael Haddara, and I had the honor and the privilege of working with uh, President Morsi over the last year. But this is not about him. This is not about President Morsi. This is not about the Muslim Brotherhood. This is not even about Egypt. This is about the fate of the entire Arab and Muslim nations. What we're seeing in Egypt is a small part of what we're seeing elsewhere, whether it's in Syria or Libya or Yemen or other countries. And what people are doing today in Egypt is that they are going out with their bare hands and their bare chests and they're facing down an army with its guns, with its tanks, with its rockets, with its helicopter gunships and they are taking the bullets and they are dying in the hope that their country would live. And the army is coming out and killing them. One of our uh, brothers here in Toronto uh, was in Rabah a few days ago and was killed by sniper fire. He was picked off by a sniper and was killed. Brother Amr Qasim, some of you will know him. Why is the army doing this? The army is doing this because the army thinks that when it shoots people, they will lose hope. Do we think that they're going to lose hope? Are they going to no. lose hope? No! Are we going to lose hope? No! Are we going to be quiet? No! Are we going to sit down and say nothing can be done? No! What are we going to do? We are here to say, to stand for freedom and justice. But we're also here to say to our fellow citizens, our Canadian friends, our brothers and sisters in this country, that everybody has a choice. People in Egypt are choosing to come out at the cost of their lives to stand for freedom and justice. The least that we can do is make the same choice of standing for freedom and justice in this country. We want our elected representatives, the people who represent us in Ottawa, in Toronto, elsewhere in the country, to stand up and say, this is wrong. We want them to stand up and say, this should not continue. This must not continue. And we're going to knock on every door, and we're going to talk to everyone we know until they make the choice that is right and support the people for fighting for their freedom and their justice. But even if they don't, even if nothing changes, even if no government comes out and supports us, are we going to lose hope? No! We are going to stand with our brothers and sisters who are paying the ultimate price and making the, the ultimate sacrifice. Maybe it won't change things. We think it will. But at the end of the day, we are standing. We're doing this for ourselves. And we're doing this for our children. So that as the President said, generations to come will know that their forefathers their parents, their mothers stood for justice, refused to sit down, refused to lie down, refused to lose hope, and refused to die. Exactly. Rabah! Rabah! Justice! 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 Rabah! Justice!
deeply saddened by what happened in Egypt. And I just want to say that Egypt, Egyptians and everyone in Egypt are very strong people. And I'm sure they're going to get through with this just like the way they did with Pharaoh. And there will be Moses to get, just like you guys are, everyone is a Moses there. And they will get through with this. And I just want you guys to let you know, we came out with this sign. And this just, I'm pretty sure everyone knows this. This just means number four. And the Rabbah sign is just number four. And it's a sign of Egyptians. And we're really, really sad what happened. I just want you guys to know we're with you. Turks and Turkey will always be with you. We cannot sleep at night. And I'm, and inshallah, we're going to get through with this just like we did with everything. Victory! 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 They're the ones that started it. They're the ones that started it. That government, that government is one of the few governments that have had the courage to tell it like it is from day one. They have had the courage to stand up and tell it like it is from day one. The governments of the so-called civilized and developed world have been too shy, too coy. The governments of Africa, the government of Turkey, the government of Malaysia, those are the people that have been standing with us and they have told it like it is. Raba! Victory! Raba! Victory! Raba! Victory! Raba! Victory! We have one brother here with a, with a very courageous initiative that he wants to tell you about. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. I'm, Ron. I'm not I'm not Egyptian, but uh, I just want to say that I'm a witness to the inhumanity that's happening right now. Um, before the massacres began, I uh, we started an initiative called uh, Hunger Strike President Morsi.org, and the idea is to call for the restoration of democracy in Egypt. Um, I know right now democracy is the last thing on people's minds because. We, we people have lost their humanity, but um, it's just an initiative that I hope that people take time to look at. And maybe if you uh, are interested or if you uh, want to support it, you can go to the website again as Hunger Strike President Morsi dot org. Morsi with an I. Thank you. Down, down, military coup. Down, down, military coup. Down, down, military coup. Down, down, military coup. Down, down, CC. 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 One, two, three. Easy for the free. 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 One, two, three. One, two, three, four, get the CC out the door. One, two, three, four, get the CC out the door. One, two, three, four, get the CC out the door. One, two, three, four, get the CC out the door. Rabba! Victory! Rabba! Victory! Rabba! Victory! Rabba! Victory! At the time of the 25th revolution, I was there since day one. I'm witness everything that happened there, the massacres from the very first day. At the, at the end of the day, towards 12.30, 25th of January, they actually kicked us from Tahrir Square, followed us in the streets. I seen people getting killed in front of my eyes the very first day. We were dispersed. I went home. Very next day, I went down to the streets again, was arrested by the national security. I was being held in a national security facility after showing them my Canadian passport. I was being held in there for almost two days. No food. No water, no washrooms, they, they, there was no room to breathe. We were so many people inside one little, very, very, very small dark room. There was no room to breathe. Okay. They let me out finally without my passport. When I asked for my passport, they said you could either stay in here or go outside. I said, okay, fine, I'll leave. I reported the whole thing to the embassy. They canceled my passport. Very next day, I was on in the streets. That, that was the 28th. I was released on the 27th. Went down to the streets again, continued until the very last day. Now I want to tell you something. Most of the people that were with me, some of them did not even, uh, mercy, nothing, are either arrested or killed. Some of them were not even in protest. They were arrested from under the buildings. Right now, I, I want to tell you, I actually went down for every single event where there was killing. I was in Muhammad Mahmoud. I was in Maspir, who was our Christian brothers. Okay, I, I seen everything. Wherever there was killing, I was there. 
no one should die, no one should ever have to go through this. Does not matter what faith, does not matter what religion, does not matter what, what country, what anything. And right now, they're killing people. It's a massacre in Egypt. Right now, they're killing people, they're arresting people. It, it, <laughs> there's no human rights. Where's, where's the countries of the world? Where are the free people in the world? Where are the people in the world? Down, down, magic go! 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 Can't you hear? Can't you see? Can't you hear? Can't you see? They kill the children. They kill the teens. They kill the children. They kill the teens. Can't you hear? Can't you see? Can't you hear? Can't you see? They kill the children. They kill the teens. They kill the children. They kill the teens. Stephen Harper, where are you? Stephen Harper, where are you? Stop. Please condemn the bloody coup! Please condemn the bloody coup! Stephen Harper, where are you? Stephen Harper, where are you? Please condemn the bloody coup! Please condemn the bloody coup! Rabba! Victory! Rabba! Victory! Are you guys tired? No! They stayed, in, they stayed in the streets for 45 days while fasting. No water, no food, no nothing. Rabba! Victory! Rabba! Victory! Thank you. <laughs> Peace be upon you all. I just wanted to bring to your attention that we have a brother currently arrested from London, Ontario. He is a physician who is doing medical relief work in Cairo. He's not even Egyptian. His name is Dr. Tariq Lubani. He had accompanying with him a filmmaker from Toronto named John Grayson. They are now currently being held in Cairo for God knows what crime. They were basically doing medical relief work. This man is involved in London with treating refugees free of charge. He does a lot of humanitarian work around the world. And now there are many people around the world who will not be able to receive his services because he's still being held in contempt in Cairo for a crime for which we do not know of. Shame! 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 shame. shame. That's a big shame. So inshallah, we want our voices to be heard today for the Canadians and the Egyptians and the non-Egyptians all being held for what we don't know and for the ones that are risking their lives right now. This is a huge a crime against humanity and you need to speak up, hear your voice and make sure all Canadians are hearing and condemning this with you. من أصوان الإسكندرية من أصوان الإسكندرية شعبي ناضل للحرية شعبي ناضل للحرية من أصوان الإسكندرية من أصوان الإسكندرية شعبي ناضل للحرية شعبي ناضل للحرية عسكر 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 ليه عسكر 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 ليه مصر عصابة ولا إيه مصر عصابة ولا إيه عسكر 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 ليه عسكر 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 ليه مصر معسكر ولا إيه مصر معسكر ولا إيه أيوة بنهتف ضد العسكر أيوة بنهتف ضد العسكر أيوة بنكره حكم العسكر أيوة بنكره حكم العسكر يسقط يسقط حكم العسكر يسقط يسقط حكم العسكر